yeah. You know the way we move. Same route, same code. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at the WAN 2.1 scale. Uh, this is by KJ or however you say it. That's always a tough one. So this is going to give you motion capture through a control net like this. So you can see I've got a TikTok dance video here and then I have my AI model and then it outputs the TikTok dance. So it maps the movement of anything you put into it and then you can overlay your influencer. So you can make TikTok content without violating anyone's rights or likeness or anything like that and come out with pretty realistic results. So what you're seeing on the screen here was just something that I tested uh, right before I started this video. So it looks all right. I think the base image is already a little bit glossy and kind of has that uh, waxy skin look. So the base image isn't actually that great. So that's, that's kind of why it doesn't look so good, but this is a great workflow. So we can kind of go through it a little bit here. So you can download this on KJ's GitHub. Um, I downloaded it and modified it a little bit and cleaned it up. It was quite messy. Uh, the one I downloaded. So I have this available on my Patreon uh, for free, but you can get it on their GitHub as well. It's free there. Uh, you don't have to sign up on my Patreon if you don't want it, but we do have a Discord community that you can join and, and some other paid tools if you want them. But I appreciate you watching the video nonetheless. So a few things you're going to need. You're going to need one animate. You're going to need the scale pose. And that's about it. Um, so it's pretty easy. This workflow is super simple to use. So you just find any video, input it, add your influencer and then run it. So let's find a different influencer and let's try try this again. I haven't actually tried this video in particular. This was from a different one I used before, but let's try this one. We'll do it live and see how it goes. All right, so let's try one of my drift girl generations that I've done. So this is from one of my custom Laura's that I have. So let's run this live right now. I'll skip through the boring bits because uh, it does take some time. Once again, I'm running on a NVIDIA 5090 with 128 gigabytes of system RAM. So a decent rig, uh, but nothing enterprise level or anything like that. You can probably do this on a 4090 as well, but let's see how it goes. So we're going to run it now. Okay, you can see the movement is now mapped. Now we'll see if it overlays our influencer properly. All right, that's completed now. Now that looks pretty good. So the base video that we used uh, had her actually close to the camera at the start. So I wasn't quite sure how it was going to adapt because this model is starting leaning against the car. So it actually uh, made the first frame work with that. I'm quite impressed. This looks really good. Uh, just nothing cherry picked as per usual. Uh, you could make this a little bit longer if you wanted, but we're, I'm just showing you how this workflow works and this new model and checkpoint. So let's try one more. Uh, let's get a different video and a different picture and see how it goes. I'm gonna try this. This is a bit risky. It's a different aspect ratio, so it will crop, but she's in the middle. So let's see, this is from my uh, Pilates girl, Laura. So let's run this again. And you can generate your influencer images from anywhere. These are just ones that I have in my collection. I'm just grabbing them just for the demonstration, but you could use one, uh, mid journey, whatever you need, nano banana. It's not important. It's really up to you. Just don't use anyone's likeness. Okay. That's interesting. It turned out better than I thought. So let's see how the end result will be. Okay, that turned out great. So in the end, the aspect ratio, it actually didn't make much of a difference, but I guess you'd get a little bit better results by someone who is not cropped like that. But I mean, even the physics, wow, look at the hair. This is incredible. I am really impressed with this workflow and this model. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Have a great holiday season. I'll see you later.